Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's Bye Bye here. So, I've gotten a lot of questions about what to buy in the Season of Conquest KVK for free to play or low spender lately. So, today I figured I would do a video to talk about what I think you should be buying from the shop. Uh, so, first thing first, you need to understand that uh, Rise of Kingdoms is a game of time management. Uh, it's all about how fast can you achieve your goals. Uh, like how fast can you get to castle level 25, how fast can you get to VIP 14, 15, uh, how fast can you expertise a commander, and so on and so on. So like everything takes time in Rise of Kingdoms. So when you want to invest into something, you want to know how much time it can save you. Uh, so like for example, uh, investing gem in VIP points will help you get more universal sculpture in the long run and it can help you expertise future commander faster, right? And that is the reason why a lot of people investing in to get higher VIP early on. So when it comes to like what item to buy uh, in the shop, you need to understand how much time it can save you, right? So keep that in mind when it comes to, to buying the item here. So for me personally, uh, the first item I would buy in the shop is going to be the CD skin. So you have to check on your account to see is there any legendary CD skin you want to get. Why do I want to get a legendary CD skin first? Because it is very, very difficult to win a legendary, C a legendary CD skin in a zenith a power event uh for me right uh, i've played this game for almost like three years already and i have not yet won a single zenith a power event to see to tell you how long it takes you to get a legendary city skin right so in here uh you have an option right um and it's got you 650,000 season coins uh, and for like a low spender or free to play player, you can get around 300 to 400,000 season coins every KVK. So, which will take you about six months, right? Six months to seven months to collect enough season coins to buy one of the legendary CD skin. Okay. So, it's definitely going to take you much, much shorter time, not like me, waiting for almost three years and still no legendary CD skin. So first thing first, you gonna have to look into the shop and to see is there any of the CD skins that you need. So like if you like an arch, uh, if you like an archer player or like a cavalry players, I strongly recommend you guys to save up your uh save up your season coins to buy out one of the legendary CD skin right here. Uh, it can definitely help you. Quite a lot. Imagine if you're running like four to five archer marches or like four to five uh cavalry marches, right? Getting that actual five percent stat boost is like upgrading one of your epic equipment to legendary right there, right? And if you have four four marches or like five marches of like the same troop type, that is like upgrading five piece of legendary uh five piece of epic equipment to legendary. Um so definitely looking into the city skin right if you're archer player or cavalry player uh for the persian dream i do, i do not recommend you to get it it is like a waste of season coins so definitely do not get it it uh, doesn't matter what type of player you are i strongly recommend you guys to not even look at it uh for the twilight force uh this one gives skill damage plus five percent it can work very really well if you're running mixed marches and if you have a, a lot of like commanders that deal very very high skill damage so if that is what you are currently running or what you are going to work on uh the twilight force is not a bad choice so the number one item to buy in the shop is the legendary city skin and the next item you want to invest in is going to be the legendary equipment material chest right so let's say if you do not need any of the legendary city skin in the shop uh the next thing you want to looking into is the equipment material chest right here and why is why do i pick this one over the legendary commander sculpture so if you're looking at it right here uh it's cost me ten thousand season coin to buy one sculpture right 
And for someone like myself who is VIP 15, I'm getting uh, three sculpture every day, right? So it's got so if I spend thirty thousand CN coin, I can buy three legendary commander sculpture, which is equivalent of just one day worth of waiting for me only. So one day worth of waiting, and I spend thirty thousand CN coin. And if I go, if I'm gonna use the same thirty thousand CN coin, I can buy two and half equipment material chest right here, right? Two and half legendary equipment material chest. And for you, uh, how long does it take for you to get one equipment material chest by just producing it from the blacksmith and possibly getting one from your VIP level? Uh, to produce one, it's gonna take you somewhere around two days. Uh, two days or if, if, if you got very, very high level VIP level, it's gonna take you one and a half day. Uh, so with 30,000 coins, I can buy two and a half legendary equipment, equipment material chests, which can save me about, let's say five days. So five days compared to one day, right? For someone VIP 15, or if you're like a VIP 10, so let's say if you're like a VIP 10, you get one legendary commander sculpture a day. So 10,000 for one day. And that 10,000 you can use to buy one legendary equipment material chest, which can save you one and a half day. So it's still better for you to invest into the legendary equipment material chest in the long run. Okay. So, so that is the second item that you want to invest in, uh, in the shop, uh, the equipment material chest here. And the next item you want to invest in is, well, right, let's say if you looking at your account, then you'll be like, oh, I have enough materials right now for me to craft one of the legendary accessory. Then by all means, invest into one of the blueprint right here, right? If you can craft them only, otherwise do not just buy them because, oh, I want to buy them just because I want to hold them into in my hand. I want to see them in my inventory. Uh, do not do that. Uh, if you cannot craft the accessory yet, do not get the blueprint, right? And I I do not recommend you guys to buy the legendary commander sculpture uh, because I don't think they got effect. Uh, it's gonna help you a lot. Um, like if you have a excess, if you have an extra season coins at the end of the KVK, uh, you 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 definitely do not have to use them, like use all of them, right? Because there is a very, very high possibility that uh, Lilith gonna add some more new items into the shop because sooner or later, people are gonna be tired of the item here and they gonna have to add more items into the shop. And let's say if you have a like 600, 700,000 CN coins saved up, when the new set of items coming out, you can just have those coins ready and you can buy them right away. So for me personally, uh, so I've, I will always buy the um, equipment material chest right here. So let's go right into it here and buying out the uh, 10 legendary material chests here. Okay, so I always buy them out. So there is a small chance of you getting an, a legendary bone. I think there is like a 10% chance or something. So let's go right into it here and open some of the chests to see uh, what are the chances of getting a legendary bone here. Uh, here, so open 10 chests right now. So we got one bone, right? So as I said, it's about like a 10% chance. Uh, even though, right, you get you might get one or two. Sometimes if you get unlucky, you might get two or even three. Uh, but again, right, getting uh, nine to like eight to nine usable. A legendary materials can help you quite a lot and let's say if you're crafting some epic uh equipment you can you can also this uh kind of like dismantle the legendary equipment uh legendary materials to get to like to an epic materials as well you can use to craft epic equipment right uh it can help you uh, in the long run and it can save you time it can definitely save you time it can definitely get you to where you want to be in the future faster uh, then when you want to buy out the uh, legendary commander sculpture here for me right i could use some season coin right now to buy out 10 legendary commander sculpture but it, it doesn't help me a lot at uh, where i am right now with my account right like 
10, 10, le 10 legendary commander sculpture i can just wait three days uh, i can just go you know chill for three days come back to the game and i have a 10 uh, legendary commander sculpture right there um so just want like you want to make like a quick video to show you guys what i think uh all like free to play or like low spender should be uh, buying from the season of conquest shop guys uh thanks for watching the video guys